If you want to be an insane fragger in Fortnite, then you need to follow the six fundamentals I'll give you in this video. If you follow all of these fundamentals, then you will become a better fragger. And it's important that you're good at every single one of them and not just a few of them. I'll also talk about how you can improve your fighting fast at the end of the video. First off, I want to address a big misconception when it comes to being a fragger. I've seen a lot of videos saying that you can either be a passive fragger or an aggressive fragger. This is completely wrong. Yes, you can prefer to be a passive fragger and yes, you can also prefer to be aggressive as a fragger. But if you want to be a good fragger, you need to be able to do both. You need to be able to get the easy kills, but you also need to be able to get the hard kills when you need to clutch. And this is why tempo switching is a hugely underrated skill when it comes to being a good fragger and just a good fighter in general. Tempo switching is a essentially knowing when you need to play aggressive and defensive. There isn't one specific way to switch tempos because it's purely situational and there's probably millions and millions of different scenarios that you can get into in Fortnite so it's impossible for me to say that there's one specific way to switch tempos. But the main thing you need to know to be good at tempo switching is that you need to be able to know when you have the advantage. When you do have the advantage you should play aggressive and and when you don't have the advantage, you should be playing defensive. But you can still make plays when being defensive. People get that wrong. Like if you go for a pre-fire when the enemy is being aggressive on your wall. But let me give you an example of a good tempo switch. So you understand what a good tempo switch is. Let's say you're weak and you box up. Obviously in a 2 by one because you never want to be in a one by one So let's say you heal and you're playing defensive. But your enemy makes a mistake and pickaxes your wall on a bad peak. Then you pre-fire your enemy for 130 damage. Now you have the health advantage so you switch to playing aggressive and edit down on a right hand peak and kill him. That's an example of a good tempo switch. You played defensive to get some heals off and then you capitalized on your enemy's mistake to get the health advantage and then switch to playing aggressive. Before I tell you how to become an insane fragger in Fortnite, I first need to tell you what the role of a fragger is because you need to know this as a fragger. The main role of a fragger is to get kills and refreshes in the end game. A fragger is also usually the one getting the most damage for storm surge. They should also be the ones looking towards the backside of zone as this is usually where you get the most amount of refreshes from. These are the main main roles of the fragger, the other main role of a fragger is simply listening and following your IGL. I talk about this later in the video. But there are times when you need to take over and co-IGL. An example of this is if your IGL is weak and they need to heal. You might need to take over and start tarping ahead instead of the IGL. Another thing is that you also still need to work on your game sense as a fragger so you know the right places to tarp, the right layers and stuff like that. Just so you're ready if you do need to take over. Also, as a fragger, comms is a lot more important than people think. You need to call when you see an opportunity for a refresh, when you get a knock, if you get a kill, if you need your IGL to come to you and stuff like that. Just because you're not an IGL doesn't mean you shouldn't be making calls, but you should still be following what your IGL says while staying aware and looking for refreshes. Also, if you have good enough loot, then you might not need to look for kill refreshes. Instead, you might just need to keep applying pressure, like if you're on high, or you might just need to get some storm surge if you're in the mid game and haven't got much damage yet. Now let's talk about one of the most important fundamentals you need to have as a fragger and this is refreshes. Now there are multiple ways to look for refreshes but here are the best ways. The first way is by doing a pre-edit on an enemy to quickly catch them off guard and get a knock or potentially kill the whole duo. Pre-edits are one of the best ways to get refreshes because it catches you off guard and has happens so quickly. I'll talk about how you can see when you're about to get pre-edited later in the video, but it's important you need to know how to pre-edit yourself. When looking for a pre-edit, either you or anyone on your team can call that there's a pre-edit opportunity. It can also be anyone on your team who actually does the pre-edit, but you should make it so one person is a person to do pre-edits, so you can just call for a pre-edit opportunity and know instantly who the person is that's doing a pre-edit. So make sure you assign that role to someone in specific 
before you go into games. If you don't know who should be the one doing pre-edits, then just say that's the fragger's role. Now let's talk about the second way you can get refreshes. But before I do, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe if you're new. You can also use code BLEXITY in the Fortnite item shop if you want to support me further. It helps me out a lot and helps me make videos just like this one. But let's get back to the video. Now the second way to get refreshes is by looking at back zone. For example, you might see a solo sneaking around at the back of zone, or you might even see an opportunity to get a refresh on a duo around you who doesn't know you're looking at them. It's your job as a fragger to look at the bank of your tarp and look at the back of zone and scout for refresh opportunities. Another way you can get refreshes is by cutting people off. Now you mainly do this by looking at the back side of zone as a fragger because that's usually where you should be and the IGL should be at the front side of zone. Obviously don't stay too far away but if you see someone running in the back side of zone you can cut them off simply by peace controlling the area they're about to go into. You can also get refreshes by picking people off who are in the congested side of zone. Something you need to understand is that sometimes dead side zone isn't where you should be. Like if you and your team have no loot and just need a refresh then it will be a lot easier if you're on the congested side of zone. As not only will there be a lot more people but it will be more chaotic meaning it will be easier to catch someone off guard that's why it's so important to maintain good awareness and i'll talk about how to do this later in the video but just to let you know you can call the igl over if you see an opportunity to get a refresh just because you're the fragger it doesn't mean you have to do everything by yourself if you're a solo and you see a refresh opportunity on a duo it will be a lot easier to get that refresh if you just call your igl over so there's two of you this also applies for trios something important to know about refreshes is that most pro fraggers stay close to their IGLs when looking for refreshes. This is so they can call the IGL over if they get a knock or if they need help. Also if the IGL needs help or if you need to take over. So keep this in mind when looking for refreshes in the end game. As I mentioned having good awareness is extremely important if you want to get refreshes and if you want to be a good fragger in general. So let's talk about awareness. Probably the most important thing as a fragger. Now let's keep this simple. If you want good awareness you need to do two things. You need to be looking around at where people are and if there's a rotate opportunity or refresh opportunity. This doesn't mean just sitting in a cone. You need to be sitting in a cone and actually looking around. You also need to be looking around constantly for people trying to kill you and to take your IGL by surprise. Something really important about awareness is knowing where to look. Now when you need a refresh the best place to look is in the congested side of zone or in the back side of zone. This is where you'll be able to get kills the easiest. And when you're just sat in a box or in a cone you need to be looking all around you so you can scout where everyone is and if there's anybody nearby who might be looking to kill you. Now like I said earlier pre-edits are one of the most OP ways to get refreshes because they take people off guard. So to counter someone pre-editing you you want to be looking around for people walking up to your wall, building up to your wall, or if someone randomly pulls out their blueprints whilst walking up to your wall. This usually means they're going to try and pre-edit you, so just make sure you keep an eye on that team. But if you're looking around you then you can call to your IGL that someone's looking to pre-edit you and you can prepare by placing a ramp or simply by making a new box. But now let's talk about the fifth fundamental you need to follow if you want to be a good fragger and this is listening to your IGL and listening to them no matter what. Even if you think they're making the wrong call. If you hesitate to follow them because you think they're making a bad call then you're gonna end up causing yourself more damage as you'll be delayed on a road or you'll be separated from your team. After the game you can say to the IGL that you think they made a mistake and then explain why. But do this after the game so you don't cause any unwanted chaos whilst you're actually playing. It's really important that you listen to when your IGL needs you to stay close to them. Like if the next rotate is going to be chaotic or if the IGL sees a pre-edit opportunity. One of the main rules to being a good IGL is just that you follow your IGL. Also 
to not get tunnel vision and just go for a kill you don't even need. Also to not go for another kill if your IGL is focused on getting a different kill. Also another version of being tunnel visioned is if you're on a rotate and your IGL is calling you that you need to rotate and you get distracted and see a kill and try to go for it. Because then even if you do get that kill you and your IGL are going to be separated and then you'll probably get griefed by all the other teams as well. Now if you're a fragger then you need to know how to fight properly. Now I've made a full video on everything you need to become an insane fighter so let me just tell you the best ways to improve your fighting in this video. The absolute best way to improve your fighting is to fight as much as possible against the best players possible. I've said it so many times but people don't understand how much faster you're improved if you just play against good players. Not only will you learn from the good things they're doing but you'll also focus more and try your hardest. And the biggest reason why you want to play against better players is because they'll punish you for your mistakes. If you play against someone worse than you then you'll be able to get away with a lot more. Now the best ways to get good fighting practice is to play scrims, 1v1s and ranked if you struggle with fighting in real games. Obviously in 1v1s try to get someone who's better than you or if you can't find anyone better than you then get someone around your skill level. You can look for people in scrims servers, my discord server or just simply a map that has good players. My favourite map is Reason's 1v1 map simply because it has the best players out of any other map. Another way to improve your fighting capability is to get the best mechanics possible. When it comes to getting the best mechanics possible, you first want to make sure you have the fundamentals down. These are things like double edits, triple edits, 90s and stuff like that. Once you've mastered the fundamentals, you then want to take your mechanics to the next level. You do this by building a mechanics routine that focuses on your weaknesses. So if you struggle with peace control and aim, then you can do the peace control tunnels and the peace control xp training section on raiders mechanics map and then you can do some aim jewels i just uploaded a video on how you can get insane mechanics where i go over the five fundamentals that helped me be able to get better mechanics than 99 percent of people click on the screen if you want to watch that but make sure to like and subscribe and use code blexity in the fortnite item shop also if you want to improve rapidly and faster than everyone else then you need to join my discord server where I've uploaded pro resources to help you improve, routines for every time limit, exclusive videos and so much more. The link is in the description if you want to join. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.